All right, in this tutorial, we're going to do sprites, pictures, textures, whatever you want to call them, mainly just sprites. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all the crap we did in the last tutorial because we do not need it. Uh, I'll keep that one, though, because I need that. All right, get rid of everything else, including the disposed stuff, and we'll get started on uh, sprites. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, I do not remember how to do sprites off by heart, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. So in another project of mine, I have already written how to do sprites, so I'm just going to copy it. Alright, and go back over here and uh, put it start. Now, I do not need this. Or that. With them, I can keep. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go... At uh, custom sprite, custom sprite equals sprite dot new. As you can see here, as we've already done. Uh, right. <clears throat> then we go at custom sprite dot bitmap. Alright, and what bitmap is, this is your texture that you're going to use, so to speak. Now, you have multiple places to get your textures from, so let's say cache picture here. So you have one of your pictures that you want to use in your um, picture folder for your game. Or you can use cache, cache dot, uh, face or cache dot, uh, Title 1, Titles 1, or Titles 2, and whatever. As long as it's in one of those picture folders, you can use cache dot that folder name. Now, in uh, the brackets here, uh, yeah, think of it as if it's a method and you're actually calling in a string, you're actually passing in a string as an argument. So, if I want to load in a certain picture from my cache dot picture folder, I can do that. So, we'll go cache dot picture. And inside of brackets, we'll type in a name. Now, I don't think I have anything inside my picture folder worth mentioning. Uh, graphics, pictures, and see, I don't have Scott in there. So I'm going to go grab a picture. And there we go. Added. Now you probably can't see it, so, yep. And there it is. That is what I've added. So we'll just uh, grab it. Grab the name. You don't need the extension, just the name of it. Just like uh, with your uh, audio files, you don't need the extension. All right. So cache dot picture, and the name of it was that. All right. So let's continue. Now, after the bitmap, we have these other things down here. Now we don't have to worry about these so much, except for X and Y. The reason why is everything else is more optional. Alright, so we have, so we can go uh, custom sprite, custom sprites dot x, and this is in pixels, pixel space. So, uh, hang on a sec, do that. Your actual game thing itself, this is 544 pixels wide. And um, 414 pixels in height. That's your uh, pixel range here. So when you say custom sprite dot x, you're actually putting it in pixel space. So if it's 544 pixels to the right and 414 pixels down, the x is horizontal. So this is um, up to 544 in this case. So let's say I want it to appear to the right of the screen, like a lot to the right. I'd say around about 450 would do it. Actually about 400. So that'd be um, to the right. And now custom sprite dot y. Custom sprite dot y. I'd rather this one appeared at the top of the screen, so just zero. That's what uh, they do. Now when it comes to z for your sprite, z is something that's used in 3D and this is not really a 3D engine so 
what it does in this one is just um it just shows uh what's close and what isn't now for example of this i will show you another this other project over here so go into it uh continue I don't know why I did that. Anyway, uh, status. Now, as you can see here, this picture is always in front of the ones behind it. And it will change in a minute. See how this one over here is always in front of the back picture over here? That's what Z does. So the higher Z is, the closer you are to the screen. And the closer you are to the screen means you're ahead of everything else. So, the idea is, uh, one, your windows down the bottom that you have on the screen are normally about 200, 200 something in Z. So if your picture was 255, your picture would be in front of message boxes. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all Z does. Alright, so you don't need to parse in Z. By default, I think it's 100. If you don't, parse, if you don't uh, specify it. Alright, and uh, that's really all you need to display a sprite. Okay, now... Before we start using that, we have to go into Dispose or Terminate. And we have to go Custom Sprite dot bitmap dot dispose. And then we do Custom Sprite dot dispose. Now, the reason why we have to do both of them is because uh, when you create a new sprite, that creates a new class inside of that one as well called bitmap. So when you do sprite dot new, you do sprite dot new and bitmap. Uh, bitmap dot new. So you have to. Uh, not bitmap, bitmap. So you have to put in uh, just you have to dispose the bitmap and the sprite as well. So that's why you need to go uh, custom sprite dot bitmap dot dispose. So that way it actually gets rid of it out of your memory and it's out of your hair. That's what that one does. So we'll click on OK and uh, play it. Play the game. Go to our status and hopefully it worked. No, custom scene. Yep, that definitely worked. So you can actually see it on the side here. But that is definitely not what my picture is. So we have to fix that, don't we? Alright, so what we can do is we can go back up here and we can modify values a little bit. See, I said I wanted it to be to the right of the screen and I did that by specifying the X. So if it is zero now, it's going to appear to the left of the screen. But it's still not going to be what I want. What I want is a proper picture, and this is not what it looks like. What it actually looks like, if I go into my pictures here, and click on it, open it up, it looks like this. So, that, you know, I'm pretty much getting just this here, on the screen, and that's not what I want. The reason why that's not what I want is because, well, it's not really a picture in that case. So. That's what Zoom X and Zoom Y does. Now, if you're following along already, you should figure out that Zoom X means uh, zoom in on the horizontal axis of the picture. Okay, so at custom underscore sprite dot zoom underscore X equals uh, hmm, we'll go 544. Uh, Pono divided by, and here's a, here's a good part about it, custom sprite, yep, custom sprite dot bitmap dot width, and that's going to confuse the crap out of you, I reckon, but we should see it. Somewhat, at least, anyway. Okay. And now we have to fix the Y as well. So at custom sprite, custom sprite dot zoom underscore Y equals 414 
divided by gimme nope point oh divided by dot height okay play it New game yada 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 there we go that's uh my picture actually in full view all right so let's compare this to the event so that way it does actually make sense okay so when you go show picture an event you have picture graphic so I can load uh, something yep that that big humongous picture okay I'm clicking OK and now I can use a uh, zoom width and height and this is a percentage so if I was to have it as a uh, 54 you'd see 54 percent in the width and if I had height at 100 it would look really crappy okay so the reason why uh, the reason why we do what we do in zoom is because this is what happens when you go uh, zoom x equals 544 uh, divided by bitmap dot width if I go over here oh, wrong one over here uh, and look at this one the well you can't see but at the bottom of my thing it says that the dimensions is 200 uh, 2100 in width and 2700 in height so um when you say uh, if I open up my calculator when you say 544 divided by 2100 you end up getting this number here alright and that's your zoom amount just like in the events, uh, when you show a picture, show a picture, and in your events, and you have this stuff here, and you can go 25 and yada yada, that's exactly what that does. That uh, gives you that value back to say, I want you to zoom in this much. Okay? And I can do the same thing to zoom in, in a hell of a lot more. Alright, so the way that value works is if I wanted this to be a lot bigger, as in I wanted it to be. Uh, greater than this, I can go 3000. And if I go into my calculator again, I go 3000 divided by 2100, I get 1.42 and that. And that would actually make the thing bigger on the screen than what it uh, is by default. So that's what that does. That's what how zoom works. It just, when you go this number divided by the actual width of the bitmap itself you end up getting a, a value that zooms in for you and gives you the right size otherwise if you leave it as default then you get that big picture like I already had and it doesn't look very nice on your screen but with that being the case I would never use these values if I want to get um, high, uh, screen stuff the reason why is because we have graphics.width which does that for us so graphics.width will return your screen size for you so in my case I'm using the default uh, screen size I think Yanfly released a script that uh, makes your the, that makes your thing bigger so another so you can use um, graphics.width to make your so that way you get that value back of that um, screen size which means if you release a public script which uses a sprite and you want to make it as big as the uh, screen you can use graphics.width and uh, that will fix it for you all right, and equally, you can just use graphics dot height. All right, so 544 by default, or 640, I think it is, if you're using Yamfly script, and then I'm um, uh, 414 here for this one. Same as before. All right, now when it comes to opacity, uh, it should be pretty obvious what opacity is. Opacity is simply how transparent you want it to be. So if I if I had a zero then it would be fully transparent and I can't see shit okay no custom sprite dot opacity I wouldn't be able to see anything otherwise if I have a 255 which it is by default then I'll completely be able to see it and if I had a 100 then I'll be able to see it but I'd also see the background as well okay and the same thing is what uh, visible does so custom sprite dot visible and this is a boolean so it's either true or false true or false alright so in this case I want it to be visible 
So if I had, uh, so setting this as true means I'll be able to see the sprite. If I said it was false, then I won't be able to see it. So by default, this is 255, and by default, this is equal to true. But you can change that if you want to. Alright, so. Play it. New game, custom scene. And I can't see it. I wonder why I can't see it. Alright, we'll get rid of that for the moment. Gotta find out why we can't see it. Alright, let Still can't see it. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh, I know why. I know why. It's the exact same reason that... exact same thing I said in the uh, second tutorial. Or third one. I think it was the second one. Uh, Graphics.width is actually an integer number. And when you divide an inter integer number by a float number, so in this case 544 divided by uh, 2100, I would get that if it's a float, otherwise if it's an integer it gets rid of all this and I just get zero. Alright, so we have to go graphics.width dot 2 underscore f dot 2 f and that just goes to float. And it converts it to a float, and uh, yeah. New game. I'm saying. And there we go. And uh, as you can see, the uh, opacity was 100, so you can kind of see the, the black background behind it. And now if I set visible to false, I won't be able to see it at all. New game. I'm saying. I'm saying I can't see it uh, there at all. Now, you can actually make more than one sprite, of course. Alright, so we can go custom sprite. Uh, we can just copy all this and make another one. We can call it custom sprite 2. Otherwise, I'd normally use an array for this since it's a lot easier. Uh, yep. Now, I gotta go get a second picture now. Which I have now done. So we go back into our scripting project and we change this name to that. Since, uh, since that's what it is. Now, we have to sort of... By doing it this way, we will kind of blend them together. Somewhat. So, uh... Oh, change these to true so we can actually see them. And we should be able to see both. If not, well, crap. Yeah, see? There you go. You can kind of see both of them. But eh, it looks kind of crappy in my opinion. So what we'll do is we will change uh, positions a little bit. I reckon. Uh, right, I also forgot to uh, go down here and dispose of that. So let's make sure we do that before we continue. bitmap.dispose and then uh, just dot dispose. Alright. Now, that I can't remember them now, so I don't need that anymore. What we'll do is this. Uh, so, as you can see, the other picture was smaller. And the reason why that one was small is because uh, it actually has a lower value. So, this one, the, men the dimensions of this one is 100, uh, 1800 by 1500. And this one's uh, 2100 by 2700. So, that's the reason why this one's bigger than this one. Okay. So, we'll go back into our scripting thing, and we will fix these up to actually look good. Alright, so, what we do here is we can, we'll have Emily here. She will appear on the other, on the right side of the screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to go graphics.width. Uh, graphics.width. Uh, multiplied by 0 0.5. Now, you can do th two things here. You can go either divide by 2. Uh, divide by 2, or you can go multiply by 0 0.5. Multiply by 0 0.5. The reason why is because, uh, calculator again, uh, if I go 1000 multiplied by 0 0.5, I get 500. And if I go 1000 divided by 2, I get 500. Now, when it comes to programming, uh, it's more efficient to use multiplication rather than divide. So when you go divided by uh, 2, uh, 
your computer actually takes just a tiny, just a little percent, little bit amount longer to do uh, dividing than it does to do multiplication. So, uh, if you're worried about efficiency, do multiply by 0 0.5. Otherwise, if you otherwise if you don't really care that much, just do divide it by two. It doesn't really matter in this case because this method's only being called once anyway. So it doesn't matter if it's not that efficient because it will do it quickly anyway. But if you were to use um if you were to have uh, dividing in uh, frame update, that's when I'd recommend you use multiplication because that is being called all the time, and so you want it to be quick. All right. So we'll go uh, graphics dot height here too. Graphics dot height multiplied by zero point five. Oh no, actually I'll leave that as zero. Leave that as zero because that means uh, she will appear up here rather than somewhere like here. That's why. And same thing for this one. That's still going to be zero and zero, so that way she's on the left, and her zoom is going to be uh, graphics dot width dot two float. Uh, this is going to be graphics dot width multiplied by zero by zero point five, and she's going to basically appear here and end here. All right. Now, same thing for Emily. I'm going to get hers, and I'm going to go graphics dot width uh, multiplied by zero point five. The reason why is because if I if she's actually starting in the middle of the screen here, and uh, her zoom is the graphics. Uh, width then uh, she's going to have half of her appear over here to here on the screen and then the other half of her which is still being drawn is going to go all the way over here because she's actually not on the screen properly in that dimension size so what you want to do is have a zoom be graphics dot width uh, divided by two so that way she actually appears fully on the screen all right so click on OK, play, okay, play it, and sh they should uh, look just freaking dandy. Well, close enough for me at the very least. Alright, now maybe what we can do... Oh, see, that's why. I didn't change that. So custom sprite 2. Okay, click on OK. Now it should look good. There we go. It works. Alright. And that's how you put in custom sprites and stuff like that. Uh, all you really have to... If you want to make more, I'd recommend using an array for it. So go uh, at sprite array. Array equals that. And then go... Uh, Use a while loop, I'd reckon, or a for loop. So for no, I don't think I showed how to do that. So I'm going to go uh, ten dot times, and then I'm just do this. Make a new sprite. So sprite array, no zero, and then one, and then two, and whatever. Just do what you feel like. But I'd use a sprite array to do this kind of stuff. So at sprite or array. Zero uh, equals sprite dot new sprite dot new and then just go on from there. All right, that's how I do it because doing it this way is kind of unpleasant and very messy for uh, as code, and it's just simpler to do an array in my opinion. So that's how you make sprites and uh, how you import them and stuff like that. Now, as I said before, Z is what makes it. Uh, what appears in front of the other in this case so if I was to put Emily in front of Nino and put her Z as 101 or 200 I don't know what the default is so if I just put her Z higher than Nino's she will Nino will not appear at all alright and that's what that does pretty much that's how you make it and that's how you do everything and uh, I hope you learnt First thing I want to do is I realize I never dispo I never pressed X on the thing to make sure it was disposing properly, so I'm going to do that now. Press X, and it works. All right, that's fine. That's how you uh, do sprites. So until next time, stay safe.